This is really the center of Medellin. And those two buildings are the two highest in all of Medellin. And you can see it's a very foggy day. We can barely see the mountains and the villages up the mountains in the back there. And there behind me you have a few guys. I don't think they're bad, but it's better to be careful. Hola, señor. ¿En qué comuna está, estamos aquí? La comuna de Zapá. La 10. Comuna 10. ¿Y qué es? El, ¿Cómo se llama? Estamos acá, El Salvador. No, el Cristo. Pero el, la comuna. Es Buenos Aires, ¿no? Most people here they don't know the names of the comunas, they know the name of the area or how the, the place is called among the people, but they don't know the official names of the comunas, which makes it a bit confusing sometimes. ¿Es seguro aquí o no? Sí, muchas gracias. Estoy tranquilo, sí. Muchas gracias, muy amable. Chao. Very friendly people, always. They don't know the comuna, but they're super friendly. And she says it's super safe here. When so. you come up the mountains like this, we're pretty high up. And when you walk in the street, it feels a little sketchy. I don't know if it is. There are like many, many guys hanging around, giving you weird looks. So it's good when there's someone assuring and safe. Going back down again, because after Buenos Aires, we're first going to El Centro. Basically what you could see from the viewpoint. And the center is really in the center of Medellin. So it's the comuna, which is in the center and all the other comunas are circled around it which means we have to go all the way back down we're just following google maps here guys and it sends me through this little pathway don't know if it's very safe usually these paths are not the safest because you're often alone and you never know who you're gonna meet Buenas. wow look at this i do like it though because you're really walking between the houses of the people and it's the fastest way to get down as well. With these stairs. Oh, we have a little cat here. Oh. Oh, look, look. It's eating some meat. I haven't seen many cats on the streets here, actually. And no street dogs as well. People here have a lot of dogs. In the evening, you'll see so many people walking with their dog. But I didn't see a lot of street dogs. I've been walking through so many little alleys and roads that I'm totally disoriented. Normally I'm really good at it. Now I'm totally relying on Google Maps. Here we can see the buses as well that go up all the different barrios and comunas. Like these buses coming from Buenos Aires, where we just were. So we are here at the tram, guys. I didn't expect it. This is the only tram line in Medellin and it's going up the mountain. You can definitely see we're coming closer to the center again. There are many more shops, there are many more people. I walked all the way down, so I hope we don't have to walk all the way up again later. As we basically have to walk over this person here. Sadly, we are arriving at Parque de Boston. This is the park here. Which also means we can officially say we've reached the center, which is officially called La Candelaria.